The James Webb Space Telescope has just confirmed something that has shaken the astronomical community to its very core. For decades, humanity has gazed into the abyss of the cosmos, imagining what secrets drift between the stars. But never before has our technology peeled back the curtain with such clarity. And what it has revealed is not only unsettling, it is terrifying. An interstellar object, known as 3i Atlas, already whispered about as a mysterious traveller from beyond our solar system, has been observed with unprecedented precision. Webb's instruments, with their ability to cut through the black void using infrared eyes, have pinned down its trajectory with chilling certainty. What once seemed like a benign visitor merely passing through has now revealed a darker truth. It is not leaving us. It is not bypassing our worlds. It is headed directly toward Mars. And that changes everything. Before we continue unraveling this mystery, make sure you tap the subscribe button right now so you don't miss a single update, because what's coming is unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. At first, Thritai Atlas appeared to be just another fleeting wanderer, a cosmic vagabond brushing against our solar system before vanishing forever into the black. But Webb's unmatched vision has rewritten the story. The sun's relentless gravity has bent its path, narrowing its orbit with frightening inevitability, until it now intersects directly with the red planet. Earlier models had allowed some room for speculation, a margin of error that left open the possibility that Atlas would slip past. Those uncertainties are gone. The data is brutal in its simplicity. Numbers, simulations and gravitational equations all point to the same conclusion. Impact. No ambiguity remains. Mars Earth's ancient sibling, the world we have studied more than any other, will soon face a violent encounter with something utterly alien. The implications are staggering. Mars is no stranger to scars. Its pockmarked surface tells the silent story of billions of years of collisions, from minor strikes to colossal impacts that reshaped entire hemispheres. But never has humanity stood on the edge of witnessing such an event unfold in real time. No human being, no robotic eye, has ever been present to see an interstellar object crash into a planetary surface. Now with our orbiters circling and rovers crawling across its dusty plains, we are poised to capture a front row view of a cosmic collision that will write itself into history as it happens. And then there is the mystery of the object itself. Thritai Atlas is no ordinary rock. It is not a fragment from the asteroid belt, nor a long-lost comet circling back after millennia. This is a traveller from the deep void beyond the sun's dominion, kin to objects like Oumuamua and Borisov, emissaries from other star systems. Its composition carries within it the fingerprints of alien stars, the echoes of supernovae, and the chemistry of nurseries where Earth's telescopes have never peered. When it strikes Mars, those materials, cosmic dust forged in places beyond human imagination, will be fused with Martian soil. For scientists who already wonder if Mars once sheltered life, the chance to study such a fusion is beyond priceless. For the rest of us, it is a chilling reminder. The universe is not a passive backdrop. It acts, it moves, and sometimes it strikes. Webb's instruments have given us sobering estimates of the scale of what is to come. Atlas is massive enough that its impact will dwarf any natural event on Mars recorded by human instruments. The strike will gouge open a new crater, ejecting dust and stone miles into the thin atmosphere, a cloud that could shroud the planet for months, perhaps even years. Unlike Earth, where weather and tectonics erase scars across millennia, Mars preserves its wounds forever. The scar of this impact will remain for as long as the planet exists, a permanent monument to the day. An interstellar traveller met a world we know so well. For scientists, the opportunities are extraordinary. For the first time in history, every space agency with eyes on Mars will be united in watching a cosmic event unfold in real time. Rovers like Perseverance and Curiosity could record the descent. Cameras pointed toward the Martian sky as Atlas tears through it in a blaze of plasma. Orbiters circling above will capture the explosion and track the aftermath. The spread of debris, the movement of dust across valleys and ridges, the way the winds of Mars sculpt the fallout. Each fragment of data will rewrite textbooks on planetary geology, impact dynamics, and interstellar chemistry. Yet beyond science lies something more primal, the drama of perspective. Humanity has long gazed at Mars as the next frontier, 
the planet where our descendants might one day build homes, cities, perhaps civilizations. Now that same world is about to be scarred by an alien intruder. To imagine standing on the Martian surface, watching as the sky is split open by a traveler from another star, is to feel the raw scale of the universe pressing down on us. It is a reminder that we do not live in a quiet cosmos. We live in a storm of motion, of chance encounters, of collisions that can reshape worlds in a single instant. Planetary defense experts see something else, a warning. This time the target is Mars, but the slightest difference in trajectory, a nudge of gravity here or there, and Earth itself might have been in its path. The revelation that interstellar bodies can be drawn into direct collisions with planets is more than a curiosity. It is a stark wake-up call. If Atlas had been shifted even slightly, we might now be speaking of Earth, not Mars. The reality is unavoidable. What happens to Mars tomorrow could happen to us someday. And the urgency to detect, track and perhaps one day deflect such objects has never been clearer. For now, however, Mars becomes our proving ground. Every rover, orbiter and instrument positioned around the planet is suddenly a participant in a grand cosmic experiment. The seismic ripples of the impact will echo through Mars's crust, revealing secrets about its mantle and interior layers that we have only guessed at. The dust cloud will transform its climate temporarily, letting us watch a miniature version of planet-wide change. The chemistry of the interstellar object, fused into Martian stone, will give us samples of alien matter preserved in plain sight. All of it will unfold before our eyes, not in simulations but in reality, and there is something haunting in the symbolism of it. Humanity has not yet set foot on Mars. We dream of it, plan for it, build rockets and ships with its red soil in mind. But even before our first steps, the universe has reminded us that Mars is no safe haven. A colony built today would be staring directly into extinction from such an event. The lesson is clear. Exploration of other worlds does not free us from the dangers of the cosmos. It brings us face to face with them. Media coverage has exploded, with headlines announcing the web confirmation across the globe. But beneath the noise lies the deeper story. This is not just about Mars. It is about our place in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer into galaxies at the edge of the observable cosmos, has instead revealed something immediate, visceral, and terrifying in our own neighborhood. In its reflection, we see not just wonder, but fragility, not just discovery, but humility. Astronomers now work around the clock, refining every detail, the angle of entry, the speed of descent, the latitude and longitude where the red planet will be struck. Simulations flicker across screens in dark observatories, each one painting a clearer picture of the moment of impact. Orbiters are repositioning, instruments recalibrated, networks aligned. A choreography of science is unfolding, ensuring that when the moment comes, nothing is missed. For amateur astronomers, the prospect is equally electrifying. For the first time in history, backyard telescopes may capture the flare of an interstellar collision on a neighboring world. Billions will watch. Billions will remember. This is not just science, it is myth in the making. Humanity will tell the story of 3 eye Atlas for generations, the way we speak of comets and eclipses, but with an edge of awe sharper than any before. For Mars will not emerge unchanged. The red planet, fossil world of deserts and canyons, will gain a new wound carved not by time, but by a stranger from the stars. And we will be there to see it, to measure it, to immortalize it. The journey of Atlas itself adds another layer of cosmic poetry. For millions, perhaps billions of years, it has drifted unseen through the galactic void. It could have passed between stars unnoticed, a silent ghost in the darkness. But its path has ended here in our solar system, precisely at the moment when humanity has the eyes to watch. Out of all the epochs of cosmic time, out of all the endless centuries of blind wandering, this object has chosen our age, our era, to reveal itself in fire. That coincidence is nothing short of staggering. Long after humanity is gone, long after Earth's civilizations rise and fall, the crater left by Atlas will remain on Mars, a silent testimony to the day a starborn traveler met a world we dreamed of calling home. Perhaps one day explorers, human or otherwise, will stand on its rim, tracing the fused stones where Martian and interstellar matter became one. Perhaps they will tell stories of the time when the galaxy reached across the void, 
and touched a world under the watchful eyes of a distant species who saw it happen.